Hey guys, it's uh, the end of day 18 testimonial. Um, I just got in from a GNO, girls night out, and uh, uh, it's almost 11 o'clock and I'm a bit tired, but <laughs> to be totally honest, I wanna go ahead and get this video done because I need to get in the shower and get to bed, um, but I'm not 1000% tired. I'm a little, I think tonight I'm feeling a little emotional. Um, this probably has absolutely nothing to do with um, my journey as far as the Be Resilient program or my eating or, um, but it is a part of my 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 healing process and my healing journey. And to be totally honest, I'm just a little sad right now. Uh, and I haven't been sad all day. Um, I've been tired. Last night, my sleep, I didn't go to bed until two in the morning. I, I just wasn't tired. And then when I made myself lay down at two o'clock, um, I just remember seeing like four o'clock on the clock and then six o'clock, and then finally getting up at eight. So my sleep was very broken. Um, I, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm not sleeping well the past few nights. Um, I didn't do any of the chia seed. I thought I broke it down to the fact that maybe the chia was giving me energy, but I did not have chia. However, I can say when I, I, I'm very caffeine sensitive, and so I don't drink coffee on the regular. Um, and when I do caffeine, it usually takes a good 24 to 48 hours to get out my system. I know that's weird, but I am super sensitive to caffeine and it will keep me up literally for almost 24 hours. So I'm wondering if the chia or something um, has that same impact on me, which just gives me great energy. Um, so I guess let me, I, you know, this really isn't what this, this, testimonial is about so I don't want to go dive off the deep end but um, I do know that um, I'm not my normal cheerful perky self I look cute <laughs> um, yeah okay so here here's the honesty so I went out with a girlfriend had a great time um, eating went well today I meal prep off the fly um, I had a banana avocado smoothie for breakfast this morning. I got all of my supplements in. For lunch, I made a salad. I wanted a boiled egg and two slices of bacon, and it was for lunch. And so then I decided, you know what? Um, this could use some greens. So I pulled some mixed uh, spring mix out. And I was like, let me just make a salad. Let me just chop up this bacon, chop up this egg. Throw it in the spring mix, throw in some tomatoes, make some, a dash of, um, I had some lime juice and olive oil, and I made a lime and olive oil lemonette, uh, vinaigrette dressing, poured that over my salad, that was good. Dinner, um, so I went out again, and the restaurant we went to, we went to this little lounge, and they had appetizers, but they had cauliflower uh, buffalo cauliflower so I did that and uh, it was trash <laughs> I hate I paid for it. it it how can you go wrong with cauliflower I mean it was it just was not good so um but here's the thing I had a really good time I'm looking really gorgeous <laughs> and uh, there was a guy there there were several guys there and this is not me to my horns this is me stating the facts i'm a looker <laughs> and so men look and when they are bold enough they approach and nothing's wrong with that but it triggered me and what i mean by that is you know i haven't talked about this in this video because again this has nothing to do with the wellness side of it but i am also healing on the mental health side of it um, I'm recently divorced. This is what month this is. This is October. I got divorced in July earlier this year. And while 
I am moving forward with my life outside of that marriage. Um, I'm, I'm not happy that I got a divorce. It was necessary for sure because of things that I endured in the marriage. But um, I just realized tonight with other men approaching me, how not ready I am and how untrusting I am probably gonna be for a while. And that sucks because before I got married, I worked really, really hard at my healing to be prepared for marriage. And uh, so anyway, I'm not gonna dive into that, but I do feel a little down and a little sad in this video and I needed it to make sense and I needed to talk my way through that. And I also just wanted to go ahead and get this video done for tonight. Um, so anyway, that's that's about all, all I have for tonight. So this is the end of day number 18. I don't think I hit all my water goals today. I had about maybe two or three bottles, so half of my 64 ounces, but the day isn't over, so I'm gonna go get me some water and um, go pray and talk to God about this feeling that I'm feeling. I'll see you guys tomorrow on day 19. Have a good night.